All right, guys, uh, I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm going to do a one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, phone call Q&A with uh, Lunatic Dad. And by the way, this is not clickbait. I just want to make that clear. It is not clickbait. Um, I'm going to ask him some questions, see what he has to say, do a little bit of Q&A, and we'll see how it goes. Let's, let's do this. Hey, Lunatic Dad. Hi, Brandon. How are you? What's going on, buddy? Not much. I just want to do uh, a Q&A with you, and uh, this is recording on YouTube. Um, uh, I have some questions for you. Uh, sure, go ahead. Shoot, I ain't doing nothing right now. Go ahead. Um, so, my first question is, why do you care so much about people and other people's streams, and you reach out to the community the way you do? Uh, being representing yourself as a very good person for the community you do for YouTube. Well, what I've represented my whole life is caring for people is a lot better than being uh, stingy. Caring for people in the community, making it grow, is my obligation. I feel I'm a leader and not a follower. I believe I can help a lot of people out. And I really enjoy giving. It's from my heart. I don't expect anything back. I never have. And But that's a very good question, Brandon. I, I just want to say that, that was a very good question. A lot of people don't really ask stuff like that, but good one. I like right. it. Excellent. Where's all that thing around? I'm trying to Q&A. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. I was put, putting something down. I got got it. Got a drink. Are you in a bathroom? No. <laughs> um, so my question to you to you is, uh, as being a role model as you are, um, how does this like affect you as a person? How does it affect me personally? Can you repeat that one more time? My truck was a little loud. How does this affect you as a person doing so much for the community the way you do? Well, let me tell you, when I got really ill, the community came out for Lunatic Dad. You had a lot of people like Witchy Princess, that Green Bay Wacky, they stopped his live stream in midstream and immediately started doing a live stream praying for me when I passed out after a live stream. And it was very serious stuff. And I appreciated all the videos that people did on Lunatic Dad. I watched every last one of them. And I, I, I just then was actually my true moment. Remember, it's not about money. It never has been about money to lose your dad whatsoever. It was about when I seen that and I the outpouring of love for me, people making videos. That was the time I can honestly say I felt the love so strong that the community really asked for me. So I try to give back as much as I can to help out as many people as I possibly can. Good question. Okay. Uh, now, another thing that some people say, and... This is coming from other people. Uh, why is it people say your videos are fake? Ah, that's one I've seen all over on my channel. Some people come in who don't like Lunatic Dad. Well, I'm going to tell you why. That I, The way I feel about it is if you don't know me, you don't know my temperament, you don't know the way I can sometimes get angry over his littlest stuff. And Green Bay Wacky will adjust to that. And anyway, the reason why they probably call me fake is because, don't forget, McJugger Nugget, who I call McGrills, uh, just like my boy and your grandpa, the rest of the But you got to understand that people think I'm fake for the plain and simple fact is because Hollywood psycho dad, and he is Hollywood motherfucker. Sorry, guys, who's listening to this, but I get mad when I hear that question. But... <laughs> It's because he's all Hollywood, and they and all the McJuggy Nuggets, they were all made a fool of by McJugger Nuggets because they thought it was all real. So now when they see me, I've been on YouTube almost three years now. Now people see my videos, and they're like, oh, oh, that's got to be fake, got to be fake. Because they've been jaded by McJugger Nugget. They've been jaded. So they can't tell the difference between real and fake. But I can tell you this right now, anybody that knows me, see me on my live stream, see me on my video. 
see me or talk to me outside of YouTube. I'm the same guy I am 24-7. So, no, I am 100% real. Okay. Next question I have is, um, when did you try YouTube and what has benefited you being part of YouTube and being as successful as you are at sitting at 11,000, that's got to be crazy for you. Well, as uh, far as what YouTube done for me, it gave me a place to hang out. As far as what have I benefited from YouTube, uh, financially, almost very little to nothing. Because everything I've ever really get on YouTube, I give right back into the community. That's what I do. I, I, I just give it right back in. Like when people come on my live streams and they super chat me or whatever, I usually just take that money and put it back into the community. But then people be like, he's not about the money. Now, don't get me wrong. If I had a million subscribers or two million subscribers, of course you're going to make it financially. Okay? It, I'm a firm believer in if you put the hard work in your channel, and you work really hard and a lot of time and effort, and you want to do it full-time YouTube, of course you want to be compensated for your time. And there's nothing wrong with it. A lot of people get into YouTube for fun. A lot of people get into YouTube because they need people to talk with because they, they're very lonely or whatever, and they find YouTube as a good source of being with others. Or some people just do it for the money. Right. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of people out there that uh, don't do YouTube because they enjoy YouTube. They do YouTube to make money. And you can approach, you know, being in YouTube the wrong way, being that way. Um, another interesting question that I have for you. What made you decide the day to come up with Nation of Domination? What and when did that hit you? And you were like, this is going to be a great uh, community program. Uh, for me to do what 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 gave you that idea great 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 question Brandon my friend very good question I'm glad you asked that question guys by the way subscribe to Brandon awesome dude just want to let you know yeah I give you a plug Brandon because you deserve it you're a good community guy and I treat you like a son but besides that the my idea of nation of domination is about now YouTube has many different countries right Right. I mean, so many people from many different countries are looking at each other's videos and everything else. So I figured, what is something that I can get behind? And my buddy, uh, Art of Comedy, who I got a lot of love and respect for, he's from England, by the way, and I'm from the U.S. And we, 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 we talked about it. We said, what can we do so that we can have true support, true uh, that people can put down their uh, videos up in nation domination? Join something better, not some five-step program or not some uh, thing in which people got to follow, follow steps and they think that they're going to be uh, successful and just getting subs and sub for sub and everything else because right. that don't work. It doesn't work. Learn to get is about support for support, real support. I always stress it in my live streams over and over again. Create good content. You got to create good content. You got to create something that... You're good with your what you do, because like you're like you, Brandon. You did uh, two pranks on me. I didn't know it was you. Funny ass shit. That's a good <laughs> thing you had going on there. No, seriously. I yeah. mean, I got upset at first, but once I found out it was you, I wasn't mad. I was just like, damn, that, that boy's got some talent. The guys, he really does. You got to check out them two videos, by the way. Another plug for Brandon Vlog. <laughs> but yeah, that that's where I'm at. When it comes to nation domination, a group of YouTubers, everybody getting together. You can get the prayers going. You can do a lot of different things. Let people know when you're uploading. And, I, yeah, I mean, it, nation domination is only going to get bigger and stronger. And, and guys, if you get to this part of the video, join nation domination if you get to this point in the video. And it's always it's important always. as well. I mean, as you have said, you know, it's always important. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my phone set up here to where I don't have to hold it. Um, you know, it's always important, you know, if someone supports you, be courteous enough to support them back. Let them know that, hey, you know, you're supporting me. I'm just show, dropping by to show you, hey, I support you in return. You know, what's your feeling Correct. on that? No, I agree 100%.
I agree on the percent. Say something that is in the video that they have. You know, watch the videos and stuff. Hey, you know, you got some pretty cool looking birds. Hey, that uh, or if the kids are doing something funny, be like, oh, they're so adorable. Look at that. And if they're playing with some food or something, mention it. And then the person knows you actually watched their video. That's a good way to grow and be a true community supporter. Next question. Okay. Now, uh, what I have for you. Uh, have you ever dealt with, like, trolls in your life? Oh, <laughs> the dad has about over 100 trolls, and they are always on my channel. Uh, yes, there are. Uh, there's two kinds of trolls. You got the good ones that are funny, and they're cool. Not all trolls are bad. A lot of people get mixed up with that. There's a lot of people up on YouTube that see someone come in with a name, but there's no face or nothing, and they got no videos, and they got no subscribers. But they're might just like your content. So don't automatically put in your mind that this is bad. That's the mistake that a lot of YouTubers make. They automatically see that someone comes in there, oh, it's got to be a troll, it's bad. Don't get it. We as creators got to get out of that habit. But you got to understand there's a lot of people that don't create videos, but watch videos. Before I got into YouTube and everything else, I watched YouTube. I watched LA Beast, all right? He's my favorite YouTuber. That's pretty much what it is. So I would, uh, I never had a channel or nothing, but I had my name and I would watch his videos. And I'd comment, you know, man, you're freaking crazy. And wow, I can't believe you would do that. Man, you shit glass and you're bleeding from your ass getting to the emergency room. Yeah, I thought that was pretty funny shit. But, you know, never ever think that all trolls are bad because they're not. Well, uh, my next question I have to you is, um, what is the best thing? Not This might be similar to a question you already answered to me, but what is the best thing in YouTube that benefits you? Me is the thing that benefits me the most on YouTube is the camaraderie with other YouTubers. Seeing how other people create their stuff. I'm amazed at some of the banners I see, the uh, thumbnails I see. Uh, I'm always happy when I see people that are just enjoying the day, not right. being a jerk, enjoying, you know, you, you may, you, people don't realize that. They were like, oh, that wouldn't bother me if that person said something bad about me or hurt my feelings. But some people take that very seriously, and it really does hurt them. So we have to be kind and supportive to one another. And I would say when I see people that are kind and supportive to one another, that's probably the most that I, I just smile. I've been on Green Bay Wacky stream, Cap 7 stream. I've been on a lot of streams that there's just so much love and support. And that's what draws Lunatic Dad in. I don't like streams that do drama. I will stay away from it. I do not like streams when the host is bashing other people. I will stay away from that, that, that channel. I want nothing to do with it. The Lunatic Dad is a leader in the community, and I'm trying to show the right way how to be a good supporter and a good YouTuber you, in what we do. You want to lead a good example, and if you associate yourself with people that are going to lead you in a bad example role model, then that, then that impacts a bad in look, input on you. Makes you your, channel, your channel will never grow. I can tell that to everybody out there. If you get to this point in the video, your channel will die eventually if you stay with the process of I love drama. Drama sells for the moment, not for the long term on your channel. It only goes for the moment. And then it goes away, and then you're left with nothing except people hating you. And then you're going to bring hate to your own channel. Believe me, it don't work. That's why I stay away from drama. Right. There you go. Next question. Okay. Um, do you see yourself with YouTube in the next ten years? If you yes, yes, I see myself as long as I'm alive. I will be on YouTube. I'm not saying I want anger, Grandpa. God rest his soul. The man everybody knows will be dad has nothing but love and respect for anger, Grandpa, and always will. But I will be like anger, Grandpa. That. I won't have the subscribers they have because people, like I said, they just refuse to get behind a little bit dad the way I really feel they should, but that's here nor there. But 
I will be buried with a YouTube button. I might, in my casket, it'll be on the side when the day I pass. Most definitely. I will do this the day I, I die. So if it's 40 years, so be it. I'll be on YouTube 40 years. Okay. And uh, another question I have. When Kyle pranks you, a lot of people say that it's set up. What's your uh, intake, thought, or response to that? Well, I would say look at some of the pranks. Would any normal person allow that stuff to happen to them? Like the time that I got put in the hospital when I slipped on the floor because he put saran wrap on the wall. Mm. On the floor, and I literally fell uh, slip and almost did the split. And I hurt my back real bad. I had to go to the hospital after that video. Uh, or would any person allow another person to gather up dog shit in a bag and put it over their freaking head? Answer, uh, I highly doubt it. No. Who knows think that the pranks are set up? Well, that's on you. But no, my stuff is legitimate. I'm not psycho dad Hollywood. Now, not, not bashing other YouTubers, you know, but, you know, the stuff that's editing... A lot of that's fake. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not trying to, you know. But you have to edit a video. A lot of people, and even bigger YouTubers, you know, it could be that even people that were thinking about ever subscribing to Lunatic Dad. Mine, I, me and Kyle both agree. Whatever happens, happens. Let it go. It's real life. It's real life. If you have to edit the hell out of your video and put stuff in or take stuff out, People are not seeing the real life of Luna Dead. Right. So that's why I do not believe I do not believe in editing videos as they happen. I'm against it. I always will be against it, and I will never ever edit a video. Sorry, guys. I'm the real deal. So, and another thing I have, like for those people that want to be successful with YouTube and become a successful YouTuber to make it on the platform of YouTube uh, business. Uh, what would be the best way you could tell them to be successful? One, plain and simple, have content that is appealing to others and, and definitely make sure it's something you enjoy to do. Your audience will see if you either like what you're doing or not. They're going to see your energy. Always bring energy on your videos. Don't sit there and be like, uh... Uh, well, uh, no, that ain't going to work. You're, you're not going to grow. Seriously. You, you got to bring the energy. You got to bring it. People feed off of energy and positive vibes. I mean, people who are really, you know, enjoy your content. I can tell you that right now. Look at Gat himself. Everybody knows. On my live streams, I bring it. Okay? I bring every part of my soul into those live streams. You get fired because, up. Uh, Big time. I get fired up. Hell yeah, I do. Yes, I do. And but also to be successful on YouTube, besides content, you gotta have nice thumbnails. Put a nice banner. But have some good content. Work on it. Don't do five, ten second little vid that says "Hello" or "I shot the birdie" or "I took a shit in the toilet." <laughs> no, not so like that. Okay, no one. You're not gonna grow like that if you start having your channel like that. You gotta go ahead. And there's a lot of different ways you can grow on YouTube. And I would mostly suggest the way if you're brand new. I tell people it all the time. Get your subscribers first. Go into many, 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 many live streams. Get all your subscribers to go over 1K first if you want to get monetized. Get over 1K. Then start your channel up with all your videos. Okay? People will know exactly what you're trying to do. You say, I'm, I'm, I'm getting all my subscribers first so that when I start uploading content, people can come and check it out and everything else. And now you're working on your watch time. Okay? They can be a combination of both. But put it together, if you're a brand new YouTuber, get your subscribers first. Get that first. I would not suggest to put up any content until you get your 1,000 subscribers. That's my advice. But some people got different views, and I respect that. Right. Uh, a few more questions. Um, another one. What is... Has there ever been a glitch with you and doing YouTube? Has there ever been a time and point to your like, uh, I don't know how far I can go with this, or has anything like that ever like registered your mind in any given situation? 
Yes, it has happened. It happened recently, just a couple of weeks ago. I was thinking about not leaving YouTube, but stop doing live streaming. Because I felt in my heart that all my energy and everything else, what I'm, I'm basically, sometimes I even get myself ill after a live stream. And I'm using so much of my energy that I feel that, am I doing, am I really helping out the community? Am I really trying to spread a message what I've been trying to spread about sport, activity, and everything else? Am I really doing anything good in YouTube for others? Well, you also because, have to realize, you know, of course, you know, you've impacted a lot of people by the energy and just as a person, as you are representing other people, you've made a lot of positive things in people's life by uh, the positive energy you have. And uh, that impact thank you, thank you. comes from thank you. you. That, that, that touches people's lives. That gives people hope. That gives people an opportunity and inspiration of, you know, saying you can do this. This guy's teaching me how I can be successful. This guy's leading my hand in the right direction. If I stick with this guy, Lunatic Dad, um, I'm going to be successful with what I want to do in YouTube. And that's how I picture you. I mean, that's how I picture thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I that much appreciate it, and I thank you for the kind words, Randy. You got another question? Another question. Um, what do you see you bring into the t table for your channel in the near future? Well, I've been working on, with the help of ZHD, who's been helping out with a lot of thumbnails, and Kyle's been uh, updating the channel with brand new thumbnails. That's important. Again, it matters what brand, what people come to your channel and what do they see on your front page, brand new people. They want to see a sexy banner. They want to see right. nice thumbnails. That tells them that you're working hard on your channel. That you're working hard, that you're just not throwing up anything. Correct. And but yes, I want a lot of. I got some good pranks coming up in the future. Okay. Most definitely, I got some. I got some really good ones. And again, I just want to tell all the lunatic dad fans. I people ask me, lunatic dad. I like when you got rage videos or everything else. But my stuff's not planned, so I can't tell you when something's gonna happen. It may not happen for a month or two. Who knows? You know, again, I'm not fake, so I can't go ahead and just plan out a video to just make you say, oh, that's Lunatic Dad. He's nuts. No, I want you to see the real Lunatic Dad. If nothing happens for months where I don't get angry, so be it. I can do pranks. I can do challenges. I can do my live streaming. doesn't always have to be Lunatic Dad gets angry. doesn't always have to be that. And I don't plan it, so whenever it happens... You're getting the real look to get. That's why it's always important to stay tuned and stay subscribed to you because you never know when something's going to happen. I mean, you could, Correct. you could post a video tomorrow or the next day. You never know. And, uh, you know, I have to say, all hands down on the table, you're one of the best. You, you, you have very good content. Uh, your son is very talented. Uh, Kyle is, I mean, he's m made the channel grow successfully for you and just you yourself. I mean, you, you raise the bar, I mean, full of energy and, and, and you're being yourself when you do it. I mean, you're not putting on an act, trying to be something you're not, it, you're being yourself and, right. and, and how I can tell that it's so much of being real is when he pranks you you get mad. You, you react like any other person would if someone does that to someone else. So that's real life shit. And none of your videos are edited. I mean, it Correct. Rolls and Correct. there it goes. Correct. Yep. You got, you got another one. And uh, another thing I wanted uh, to, to say, uh, do you have anything to say to, I mean, a message you want to say to any of your supporters or anybody that might watch this? I mean, Nation of Domination or Prayer List? I mean, right now... Yes, I, I would like to thank everybody if you've tuned in this long to the Q&A. It's much appreciated. Hopefully I did answer some questions for you that Brandon you did a hell of a job in asking. You got to a lot of meat, meat and potatoes. It's been actually a very good uh, Q and A. Thank you for inviting me on a Q and A. I deeply appreciate that, kid. Uh, I want to let I want to let everybody know. Join the nation domination. Got a lot of good things. You drop like I said earlier. You get real support, real views, real community. Nation domination will live forever, even long past lunatic dead. I believe it's something that's growing. 
We're getting stronger. Uh, everybody can testify inside that nation domination. People need people to talk to. People need prayer. There's just so much great stuff going on in nation domination. I want to thank each and every one of you today for uh, listening to this video. I want to thank Brandon once again. Thanks for being a kind host and getting uh, straight to the point. I love it. That's right. awesome, awesome thought. And as I said before, I will go ahead and uh, I'm going to leave out. Thank you, Brandon. Guys, love each and every one of you. Nation of Domination for life. And be, sure, hey. and be sure to subscribe to Lunatic Dad's channel as well. And subscribe to my channel for more content. Appreciate you guys sticking into this Q&A. Uh, until the next one, love you guys. Peace.